This is the master bedroom walk-in robe and ensuite. Every parent's idea of the perfect retreat. And there is absolutely no kids allowed. We've just come back from our little trip to Fiji. We're well rested, we had some good waves and great family time, and now I'm ready to get back on the tools. Now it's time to tackle the big main house, and in particular, let's get our master bedroom done. Our bedroom is situated on the second floor and we'll have a big walk-in robe and ensuite. It wasn't until we started standing all the frames for the second story that you really got basically a good concept or a grasp of the scale of those spaces. I think this is a great size. Yeah, of course it's a great size. It's the biggest bedroom known to any human. To be honest, I was a little unsure that we'd gone too big, but when you're standing in there and you map out where the bed's going to be, where everything's going to sit, you realise that it's actually just a beautiful space to enjoy each other's company. <laughs> if you like each other's company at the end of the build. <laughs> We're only halfway through, so we'll see how we go at the end, eh? With pretty much all of our builds, we've always really wanted to capture as much natural light as possible, and this build is no exception. We've got highlights basically all along the northeast and face. And I think our vision for the master bedroom was that we would be able to lie in bed or be standing in the shower, and pretty much everywhere you are in that room, you can look out a window and just see trees. So it almost feels like you're in a bit of a tree house. In the walk-in row, we've decided to maximise storage space, which means no window walls, but we've included two VLUX skylights from above, which let in an abundance of natural light. Well, my fingers are crossed because this is basically the biggest walk-in robe we've ever had. That's Cara's side, this is my side. I'm stoked because I finally get my own space to hang all my clothes. In the ensuite, we've done the same, and when you look up, all you can see is a canopy of trees. I think whenever we've done a build or a renovation, until the gyprock goes on, it feels quite dark. But once you get those sheets on the wall and the light starts bouncing around, you can really get a sense of what the actual light is gonna feel like when the space is complete. Yes, look how much light there is in here. I oh, know. Most of our wall linings are all on, but now we've got to do our EasyCraft V-joint panelling, which is going behind the bed head and also to the wall off to the side with a tricky little integrated door. I love working with the V-joint panelling because it is like a really fast application and it does have such a good impact. So once it's on, it's basically ready to paint. It's taken months to get here, but we're finally at the point where we can choose the pretty stuff. And I'm starting with a beautiful base of some Torman's Aspen Snow, which is a gorgeous white that's nice and warm, not too stark. Although Kara's off making decisions, picking the pretty stuff, I've got to keep the trades moving upstairs. So we've got all our underfloor heating going in in the ensuite and the tile has started. When I'm designing a bathroom, I usually go for two or three different tiles in the one space. But for this ensuite, I've gone all the one tile, which is a bit different for me. I feel like it's a little bit like more sophisticated than what we usually do. Way more sophisticated than we actually are. It's a happy day for me on site because stone is being installed by Edstein Creative in our ensuite. I'm really happy with my choice in here. We've chosen an integrated sile stone basin and then we've got almost like a little splashback stone return on top which our taps come out of. So a little bit more fancy than what we would normally go and I'm so excited to see this finish. There's a lot going on at the moment and as busy as we are, we can't forget about our side projects. And for me, that's our homewares business. But we are also working parents and we've got to make it work with our kids, which sometimes mean it feels like we're taking two steps forward, one step back. I think with Veda, she obviously has so much more fun when we involve her and include her in things. So helping mum out is like her little dream. Although you're not getting a heap of stuff done, she does love it and we can definitely see her being like a little boss one day for sure. The room's coming together and it's looking great, but there's lots of hard surfaces. So now it's time to bring in some texture and warmth with carpet. I think, honestly, our last three builds that we've lived in, we've always had floorboards in the bedrooms. And I've so wanted carpet for that long because it feels so luxurious and you can just, you know, it just feels comfy. And I'm stoked that I got my way. 
I think especially once you have kids, you want to be able to lie on the floor and read books and roll around with them. And yeah, it's a nice, it is nice. You won me over. There's lots of different elements to help this room really come together. And for our window dressings, we're going for a floor to ceiling look, which is a bit of a statement, but it really does help to create that parents retreat vibe that we're going for. So I've gone with a block out curtain and a sheer curtain on top in a beautiful champagne colour, which works really well with our sandy coloured carpet. There is still one missing piece of this massive puzzle, and that is the bed for this master bedroom. Now back in the day we always wanted to do something with the old timber from our shack which we loved so much and we've decided that we're going to make a four poster bed. It doesn't look like much here but once we've denailed it and we run it through the machines it's going to come up really beautiful. Initially when Kyle had finished dressing the timber I wasn't sure about it, it was a bit too red for my liking so I've had to play around with some stains and I've chosen a darker finish and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love how this whole room feels. It actually feels like we're on holidays in here. The master bedroom is the grandest room in the house, so it needed a grand entrance. What better way to do that than with these beautiful Corinthian double doors? Sets the tone the moment you walk in. As soon as you walk into the master bedroom, you step straight on to that beautiful wool carpet which feels so good underfoot. Having the curtains run from the ceiling all the way to the ground and pulling on that plush carpet helps to create that hotel feel that we were after in this room. And I love the way the champagne colour and the carpet work so well together to create a calming feel. My favourite part about this whole room is that we've been able to incorporate the old shack. So what would otherwise be classified as timber that goes to waste, it has been made into something beautiful that we'll literally use every day. Even though we made the bed frame ourselves, we definitely had to invest in a quality snooze mattress. Our bedside lights are these steel lights that were designed early in the 1900s and good design carries through those times and we're lucky enough to be able to have those lights beside our bed. Throughout the home we've used curves as a design element and we wanted to do the same and add that architectural feature in the master bedroom. Our custom arched doorways will take you through to the walk-in robe and ensuite. My favourite design element in the walk-in robe is the scale of things, the height and all that storage is every woman's dream. In the walk-in robe we've used a beautiful timber veneer for our joinery and the sandy coloured silestone top. For the bench top on our vanity we've gone for something a little bit different and created a 100mm hob at the back. Which creates the perfect shelf for styling. Keeping with the curved theme throughout the home, we've got this beautiful custom oak mirror. We've opted for brushed nickel tapware and they look amazing against these large format tiles. In any part of the ensuite, you only have to look up and realise how much natural light is coming through these V-Lux skylights. We have just created the most amazing parents retreat, but there's no time for rest yet. And next up, it's the kids' turn, and we are creating the ultimate rumpus room, kids' bedrooms, plus a little surprise that the kids don't know about. <laughs>